guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's, uh, well, it's the day after Thanksgiving. It's Friday. Yeah. Black Friday, woo! It's not Trad Tuesday. Um, but it is a special edition Trad Tuesday for uh, Black Friday because our Yom's box finally came in. Came in a little bit later than we thought it was. We thought we would get it in time for Thanksgiving, but it, it came in today, so we went and got it. Um, <clears throat> but this, this month is the Netherlands, from what I hear, because that's the birthplace of Van Gogh. You can see that's the Netherlands flag. But the, for the uninitiated, Trap Tuesdays where we try new things. So we do need your future Trap Tuesday suggestions. Next week, uh, we will not be having a Trap Tuesday because we are both working. And so um, work comes first in life. And uh, if you guys have a suggestion for future ones after that, then we can uh, explore those opportunities for you. If you have a suggestion for us, you can email us at beerlyhonest.com, beerlyhonest at gmail.com, or you can just leave us a comment down below, which most people do. We kind of struggled too. We can't really find anything right now. Yeah, even though it's the holidays and special editions and stuff are coming out, we've exhausted we've a lot of short. opportunities. But this month is the Netherlands, which this is kind of a fun little thing. They change it we've up. Got on the back, yeah. They keep adapting. And for those of you that um, would like to get your own box for Universal Yums, there should be a, co um, a either a code or a link down below uh, where we basically get a referral from you guys. And I think you get five or ten dollars off your first box, something like that. Like five dollars. So, five dollars. I think so. Um, we have the most expensive box. It's the Super Yum box. I think it runs about fifty dollars. But they have some that are as cheap as fifteen. So just check them out if you want. But this month is the Netherlands. Of which I don't think I'm going to be able to eat much. Probably not. A lot of cheese. <laughs> well, I'm, I would assume there'd be a lot of chocolate in here. Yeah. Uh, but before we get into the box, let's get into next month's clue, which it says, Next month there will be dragons and firework displays. You'll hear bagpipes and carolers singing uh, something. Vesele Venake. When the holidays roll around, it's always more fun to celebrate the special season with everyone. So I'm wondering if because they have carolers, bagpipes, fireworks, and dragons, and maybe like Italian, I don't know if that is, is Italian or not. Um, last year they did like one from all over the world, like that's... kind of a collection of stuff, and I think that's what they're going to probably do this, this year too. They've already started advertising it like on Facebook, and that's what they're going to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like from all over the, the world. Like a treat or two from different places. Which is kind of cool though, you get to try many countries. So you get the little booklet that has a bunch of trivia and puzzles and stuff in there, but it also goes over the things in the box itself. And so we're going to go one by one here. Some big stuff. Big stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are Auto Drop Cadillacs. Boss Verschrod Cadillacs. They look like gummy cars. <laughs> gummy Cadillacs. Which. I think you can enjoy this. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're like little cars. That's funny. Ooh, very hard. You want a dark one? Sure. Ooh. Okay, strawberry cherry and black currant. Ooh, this is black currant. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get stuck in my teeth though. They're extremely chewy. But they're good. It's a good real flavor. Mm -hmm. Pinchachas? Pinchachas? <laughs> you should just not try. <laughs> Paprika flavored corn crisps. Which these do have milk in them. I have a feeling a lot of it is. They smell like paprika. Ooh, they're, they're little triangles. Mm. 
inspired by the swinging taste of Cuba. Not bad. They're kind of smoky. How peppery it is. I don't know. There's no other like peppery flavor though. Let me smell them. They're almost like a barbecue. Oh yeah, I can see that. But not quite. Cheese biscuits. Roca, the original cheese bis biscuit. They're Gouda mini cheese crispies. Puff pastry biscuits with Gouda. Which, yeah, these have cheese. They look like little croutons. Little crackers. Ooh. Got a little oh. funk to them. They're really Gouda like. Well, do the funk. Mm -hmm. They're like a lighter version of those like total cheese burnt crisp things that we got in Costco. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really good, but that's that's about the right size of what you could eat. They're pretty savory. They're very strong. Stroop waffles. These no. have all sorts of milk in them. There, there's a different one. That's not the right oh. one. Yeah, we got two stroop waffles. Yeah. Chocolate stroop waffles. And that's the first one. Max and Alex brand. Stroop waffles are good. Okay. Is it Delta Flights you get it? Or United Flights? It's Delta. Delta? It's a little Flight United. Ooh. Melted. And all sorts of caramel in there. So it's like a chocolate covered soup waffle. And crumbs. Mm. It's very dense. That's good though. Good chocolate? Mm hmm. Proof. Mm -hmm. Pastillas. They're orange pastillas. Milk chocolate with orange flavor. Is that milk? Yep. Like a cookie inside? Mm. Or is it just like filling? No, it's just chocolate. Oh, just solid chocolate? No it's filling? It's got like little crispy things in it. Mm. And like orange. It's really orangey. It's good. It's good chocolate. Okay. Flavor. Yeah, they looked at in this little picture. Oh, is that why they're black on the, yeah. on the ends? They look like little gummy double-decker buses, but they're... Licorice flavored? Yeah. Fruit and licorice flavor. Gotta do it. 
strawberry cherry flavor. I can have it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. They're not very strong. Mm-mm. I don't taste licorice at all. Maybe a little bit. But not like what I was expecting. Mm-mm. Jan Hagel. Or Jan Hagel. Is it Jan or Han? Jan, Jan, Jan Hagel? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they're spice cookies with peanuts and pearl sugar. Means ragtag. A whole bunch of cookies. Oh, they're, they look like gingerbread. Well, they're spice cookies. That's... Yeah. You got a whole bunch of stuff on top. I don't really taste the other stuff. They taste like really good, mild gingerbread cookies. They're a little dry. So we need a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go over. Okay. For anybody wondering, she has a dairy allergy. She gets hives and stuff, so that's why she can't have uh, milk. All good. More cheese biscuits. I guess these are just bigger ones that have raspberry pieces in them. Cheddar and raspberry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like it says, Krispies raspberry. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I guess you can see. There are little chunks of something in there. Stuff in there, raspberries. I don't think raspberries and cheddar. Maybe like brie, brie, and fruit and cheese. Those are good. They're milder than the other ones. Well, it's cheddar, not gouda. Gouda is a lot stronger. Those are good. Those are really good. It's been the good box so far. Mm-hmm. Well, Belgium's not. <clears throat> Netherlands. Or, yeah, not Belgium. The Netherlands. <laughs> that whole region is not very obtrusive. Or, it's another adjective. You don't hate them. Right. I don't know. Unobjectionable. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I think a quick break. very hard. Do I? Do we need to take a quick break? In a minute. Okay. These are cinnamon candy milks. Ooh. One of the ingredients is burned sugar. Gonna be a good These are hard to do. They're hard candies. It's unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> she about pooped herself. No, I did. <laughs> They're still intact. I just didn't expect you to slam them down there. What the? Spice. The cinnamon sneaks up on you. It's like red hotty. It's like a mild red hot. It's like a dinner mint and a red hot had a baby. And this is what they came up with. Uh 
Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Now we can do a break. Okay. And we're back. So next thing we have <coughs> are the other Stroop waffles. This is like the original. These are not chocolate covered. These are just the normal, normal kind. Very crummy. Crumbly. Caramel, but it's like a different. It's making a mess. Not an inch length. No, I know. This paprika is a thing there. It is in a lot of countries. Those are creepy. I don't like those. What, the palm bars? Chio palm bar, potato crisp with, pap with paprika? Yeah. <clears throat> They're a little creepy. They're little bears. Little, little, creepy. little spicy bears. <laughs> They're like little flat. Creepy. <clears throat> These are more paprika flavor. <clears throat> Excuse me. These taste more like paprika. Pretty crispy. Okay. I can't have a crispy bear? No. Good, because they creep me out. I don't want to eat a bear. Flippies. XXL flippies. They have the American flag on them. Well, because they're probably supposed to be like Cheetos. I guess. Or cheese corn puffs. Cheetos. Puffy Cheetos. So good. Lingen. <laughs> it looks like a weird pretzel. Puff paste. Oh, they're sugar glazed pretzels. That's what they call them. Okay. These you can have. Good, I need something that's crunchy. <laughs> Don't eat scissors. You too good for scissors? Uh huh. Ooh, those are sugary glazed. <laughs> they taste stale. It's just the texture of them. It's mm -hmm. not as crunchy as you're thinking. Because it's not pretzel. There's nothing really pretzel about that. It's just mm -hmm. like puff pastry. You already got a bunch of crumbs on the ground. Mm -hmm. I need an upstairs room buff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
room butter waffles. <clears throat> butter waffle hard candies. But you can have these. Made from pork gelatin. Mmm. <laughs> I like those little pretzel things. Those are good. They look like little waffles. Waffle me. Oh man. Weird, it tastes like butter. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Tastes like butter waffles. Yeah, it has no butter in it. That's so good. It's very chewy though. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's really stuck in my teeth. What is there an obsession about cars? <laughs> Auto drop soft wagons. Salt and toffee flavored salt, soft licorice. The other ones didn't taste like licorice. A little truck. I bet these two. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like those. Those definitely taste like licorice. Salty licorice. I don't like the saltiness of them. I just don't like them at all. First thing, our milk chocolate filled, uh, chocolates filled with hazelnut, cereal crispies, and cappuccino cream. There's three different ones. Yeah. What's with that? It's like a Lindor truffle. Mm. That kind of consistency. Consistency. Milk chewies. <laughs> hey, that looks gross. Like a milk sushi roll. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Kind of reminds me of cowtail. Okay. <clears throat> that kind of creamy mm -hmm. feel to it. Pretty good though. Holland hop cheese, coffee flavored hard candies. A lot of candy in this box. This is really good. Tastes like a cup of coffee? Mm hmm. Sour. 
Yeah, it says sour lemon hard candy. It's got like a crust. Mm -hmm. Too sour for you? I don't like sour things. Tastes like a lemon drop. But it's really sour. <laughs> And it doesn't go away. Away. Very chewy. Once you get into it. It's sour. Doesn't lie to you about that. Mm. Let me take a break real quick. And we're back. And we've got one more thing here, which is the Napoleon Zwartwit, which is hard black licorice with salty filling. I'm not trying this. Yes, you are. Do it. You can spit it out. You have the. Can I have it? Mm hmm. You're gonna make me try it only? Oh, that's the only one we have. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Don't lie. Oh, I don't get the lick the salty licorice thing. <laughs> this is sad. Don't hurt your teeth. It's like a salt, like, <laughs> like a big old salt chunk in the middle. <laughs> and it, now my mouth will stop watering. <laughs> Don't yak on the floor. It's making heaving, heaving motions. Yeah. Yuck. No. Anyway. No, no. Anyway, final thoughts. I know you only tried a couple things, but final thoughts on uh, Netherlands? It all looks really good, except the liquor stuff. It was a pretty good box. <clears throat> Can you give me one of the, 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 the Cadillacs? Put a Cadillac on there. That whole thing. What is your favorite? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Actually, it's all these little guys. Those are interesting. Butter waffles. These are pretty good. Runner up? Um, street waffles. The original? Mm -hmm. Worst. Whatever that last one was. Yeah, that nastiness. Yeah. Weirdest. That's not good. Um, no, I mean, they're all pretty. There's nothing really one that sticks out the other, except for the licorice ones. Weirdest. I guess, like, I guess you could also think of as most unique. Maybe those cheddar and raspberry crackers? Yeah. Those were kind of unique. But they didn't really have a lot of fruit in them. They just were like a mild cheese cracker. With, like, maybe a little sweetness? Yeah. Okay. They're good. I like them. What do you guys think? I know a lot of you guys will try the boxes along with the videos. So, what do you guys think of what your favorite thing was in the box, or least favorite thing, or of the things I could try? These pretzels were my favorite. I didn't care for those. I like. It reminds me of something I've had before, and I'm not sure what, but it reminds me of something. And then I like the gummies, and then the little waffle things are good. But that's again, that's what all I had. Yeah. Those nasty licorice things, or no? I didn't well, like the chocolates were pretty good too. I didn't like the lemon candy. It was just too sour and too yeah, chewy. Very sour. Anyway, I know this is uh, it's Friday. It's special edition to Try Tuesday. So happy Thanksgiving, guys! Um, like I said, we're not gonna have a video next week, but uh, the week after we will definitely have one. But we definitely need your suggestions too. So if you have any, 
leave your comments or suggestions down below on the video. Same thing, if you're looking to pick up the box, we've got a link now to where we get a referral, and I think you guys get 5 or $10 off your first box, so definitely check that out down below. All social media stuff is down there too. If you like this video, guys, hit that thumbs up button. We're almost up to 1,000, which means the wife will make an appearance on the video. I think we're 904, 905, something like that. Um, so the closer we get to that, you'll see her. I'll start playing in my video. Mm -hmm. Feel free to share this video as you see fit. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until then, have a nice day.